One of our goals at Circuit Board Medics is to help our customers with the removal and reinstallation of the items we service. This video will apply to all 2005 and 2006 Ford Escape, Mercury Mariner, and Mazda Tribute vehicles, but should also be very similar for all 2001 to 2004 Ford Escapes and Mazda Tributes. Repairing an ignition coil failure on these vehicles is not like most other vehicles. Please watch the following section carefully so that you do not re-damage parts you have already replaced. When one or more ignition coils fails on these vehicles, causing diagnostic trouble codes of P0351, 352, 353, 354, 355, or 356, the main engine computer or PCM is usually damaged. If you replace the coils without repairing or replacing your PCM, the new coils will be damaged again within seconds of starting the vehicle. Likewise, replacing the PCM without replacing the coils at the same time will cause damage to the PCM within seconds of starting the vehicle. Unfortunately, the only solution to this problem is replacing all six spark plugs, all six ignition coils, and replacing or repairing the PCM at the same time. As mentioned before, it is important that you do not try to start or run the vehicle until all of these components have been replaced. Our PCM repair service can save you hundreds of dollars on this overall repair. Please contact us to set up your order or if you have any other questions. For removal of the ignition coils, you will need the following tools. A ratchet with deep well 8mm and 10mm sockets, a small extension, pliers, needle nose pliers, and a flathead screwdriver. For removal of the spark plugs, you will also need a spark plug socket and a locking extension. First remove the throttle cable bracket using an 8mm socket. Then remove the cover over the throttle by removing the bolt on the right side and then on the top. Once the cover is off, remove the two bolts to the throttle cable bracket. Detach the throttle cable as shown here. Pivot the throttle counterclockwise to release the tension on the cables, then remove each cable. The first cable releases by pulling it towards the battery of the vehicle, and the second cable releases as shown here. Disconnect the crankcase ventilation tube and the two wiring connectors on the throttle assembly. Next, you will disconnect three hoses. Each of them is held in place by a hose clamp, which can be released using a pair of pliers. Loosen the large hose clamp on the air intake and disconnect the air intake from the throttle assembly.
Next, disconnect the EGR using a 10 millimeter socket. Be careful not to drop the gasket as you remove the second bolt. Now disconnect the EVR. It is held in place by a 10 mm bolt towards the front and an 8 mm bolt towards the back. The 8mm bolt does not detach from the EVR once it is loose. Next you will disconnect the three hoses and two wiring connectors on the back of the manifold. Now remove the upper intake manifold by loosening the eight bolts as shown here. The eight bolts do not come all the way out but stay attached to the upper manifold. Once all eight bolts are loose, lift the manifold out. Be sure to cover the lower manifold to prevent debris from getting into your engine. Now you can begin to remove the ignition coils. First disconnect the wiring connectors. It is very important that you pay attention to the order of the connectors so that you can put them back properly later. Label each wire with tape if necessary. Using the 8mm socket, remove the bolt holding the ignition coil. Then, reach around the top of the coil with your fingers and pull on the flange for the lower sleeve. If the top starts to come out separately, push it back in and try to grab the sleeve again. Here you can see the best way to grab the ignition coil when removing it. Now you will remove the spark plug. 
As mentioned before, we do recommend a locking extension for the spark plug socket so that it will not get stuck in the tube. Once the spark plug is removed, repeat the process for the other five cylinders. Once again, our PCM repair service can save you hundreds of dollars on this overall repair. Please contact us if you would like to set up an order or if you have any other questions.